Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configure anti-phishing policies in exchange online protection. So what do we know before we begin? In Microsoft 365 organization with mailboxes in exchange online or standalone exchange online protection organization without exchange online mailboxes, anti-phishing policies provide anti-spoofing protection. So if you want to need um, if you need more information go and check out spoof settings in anti phishing policies but the default anti phishing policy automatically applies to all recipients for greater granularity you can also create custom anti phishing policies that apply to specific users groups or domains in your company or on in your organization so let me just quickly log on to the portal then take it from there Okay, you log on to security.microsoft.com. You come under, when you are on the home screen, you scroll down. Under email and collaboration, you go to policies and rules. You click on threat policies. Under policies, you have anti phishing policies. By default, Microsoft 365 includes built in features that help protect your users from phishing attacks set up anti phishing policies to increase this protection for example you can refining the settings to better detect and prevent impersonation and spoofing attacks so the default policy apply to all the users within the organization but we can create custom policies with higher priority policies for specific users groups or domains make sure that you have assign permission before you can do the procedures to create the anti phishing policies if you you can have microsoft defender xci unified role based access control settings you can set up through exchange online permissions you can do microsoft entra permissions as well You click on create to create a new policy. It will open up the new anti phishing policy wizard. You enter the name, enter your unique name. Okay. Include these users, groups, and domains, right? So on this page, user groups and domain page, identify the internal recipients that the policy applies to with the recipient conditions. So I'm just entering my name for now. You can have the groups of, of the specific distribution group or mail enabled security groups. Or the Microsoft, oh sorry, the specific Microsoft 365 groups. Or you can add a domain. Or you can also add, exclude these users and groups and domains and enter, enter their names here. Click on next. It says set your phishing thresholds and desired impersonation and spoof protection for this policy. Now click, we have to click in the appropriate box and then start typing a value and then select the value that we want from the result. It says enable impersonation protection for, for up to 350 internal and external users. Okay. Now this is impersonation protection. You want to learn more about it. You'll have to check the Microsoft documentation for that. Okay. You want to setting you want to enable this policy for domain protection. You want to add trusted senders and domains. Enable mailbox intelligence. Enable intelligence for impersonation protection. Enable spoof intelligence. Right? Whatever you want to do, make sure that you are checking that box under phishing threshold and protection option. Okay? Let's say I'm going with with the default okay on a dmark 
this is the actions right so it says set what actions you would like this policy to take on messages okay so this is the condition that i added on the previous screen it says uh, if a message is detected as user impersonation don't apply any action if a message is detected as domain impersonation don't apply any action if mailbox intelligence detects an impersonated user don't apply an, any action it says on a dmark record policy when the message is detected as spoof if the message is detected as spoof and dmark policy is set to p equal to quarantine quarantine the message or move it to the junk reject the message if the message is detected as spoof by spoof intelligence move the messages to junk email folder and this is the safety tips and indicators what is it it says safety tips are warning messages that are shown to recipients when they open suspicious email messages this is also this also can be customized and if i go back and if i enable spoof intelligence which is there by checking that box you are enabling the spoof intelligence it will give you a review page review your policy before creating it whatever the name description users uh, thresholds that you have enabled uh protection settings that you have enabled impersonation setting domain protection domain impersonation safety tips whatever right once you'll click it submit it the new policy will be created and you will see something like this and then you can edit that as well later on and then you can use the defender portal to view anti phishing policy details like i'm doing it now it will give you name status a priority and then you can take actions on uh, those as well if you have multiple policies right if you have multiple policies you can take more action enable selected policies disable selected policies you can delete selected policies and if i show if i'll click on it if there are multiple policies uh you can say priority low, lowest right so if there are multiple policies you would see an option to decrease the priority it is turned to always on there is a policy you can turn off or turn on as well and you can use the microsoft defender portal to modify anti phishing policies as well and then you can use this same portal to enable or disable custom anti phishing policies like i am doing and then you can also use the portal to set the priority of custom anti phishing policies if you would have more than one policy and then you can use the same portal to remove this policy as well or the custom anti phishing policies and you can use exchange online powershell to configure anti phishing policies as well and there are powershell commands that you can use to create anti phishing policies same way you can use powershell to view to edit uh, the rules the policies to modify the anti phish policies to set the priority to enable or disable the anti phish rules within the policy to set the priority of the anti phishing policies using powershell as well and now if you want to know that you want to confirm that these policies or procedures are actually working right so verify the list of the policies and then their status values if you see this the status of this well policy is always on make sure that your policy is turned on turned on and not off okay and you can verify the same using the exchange online powershell commandlet and the commands okay i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day